Okay, welcome back for a very special chapter today. It's the last chapter of Matthew and also deals with the resurrection of Christ. So, great chapter. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. Verse 1. Now after the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the grave. And behold, a severe earthquake had occurred. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled away the stone and sat upon it. And his appearance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. The guards shook of, uh, for fear of him and became like dead men. They likely passed out from um, having known him alive, possibly participating in his beatings and death. And now seeing him back alive, um, they, ha they had all the reason in the world to be scared to death, literally. Okay, verse 5. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who has been crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Come, see the place where he was lying. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. And they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to report it to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and greeted them. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, and take word to my brethren to leave for Galilee, and there they will see me. Now while they were on their way, some of the guard came into the city and reported to the chief priests all that had happened. And when they had assembled with the elders and consulted together, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers and said, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this should come to the governor's ears, we will win him over and keep you out of trouble. And they took the money and did as they had been instructed. And this story was widely spread among the Jews and is to this day. And actually, even to this day, people still make that claim. Verse 16. But the eleven disciples proceeded to Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had designated. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some were doubtful. And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. And this is a very clear statement of his deity. Verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Okay, so that'll do it. Next, we're going to get into the book of Leviticus. I'll do a brief overview. Really hope you can join me. Again, I want to get through the entire Bible. And we've got three years to do it, and I'm determined. And I love your support. Okay, God bless you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care.